Hi, welcome to part 101. If you have not yet subscribed, do so, it will help you. Now, uh, let us look at this question. Your company is under audit, they need certification details. So, AWS artifact is meant for this all certifications. So what sort of certifications? PCI, SOC compliance, all of such sort. So, this would be our answer. A tells you to use TAM. See, for such small things, don't call God, do it yourself. Auditor just want certification details. B, why you want the auditor to get on site into your data centers? Who asked you to do that? Now, C is a stupid option. Auditor comes and you are telling, hey boss, you should not audit. So this would be our final answer. This next question is a storage one. You need low cost and long term. So that has to be deep archive. It is just like Antarctica so cold that why would you keep something in antarctica when you will not access it frequently real life examples your bank statements icici or hdfc bank statements you can access for last six months beyond that it is gone in the archive it will be kept in deep archive for seven years as per the requirement by RBI. This I am talking, these are banks in India. There would be similar regulations in US and whichever country you belong to. Snowball is not a storage solution. It is a data transfer solution. You ask AWS, they will send a box, copy your data inside that box, Courier it back to AWS. AWS will put your data in the AWS account or environment you have. That is how Snowball works. Snowball is not used for long term storage, just short term storage. But here the question says long term storage. MQ is a message broker service, it is for real time communication. So it will not work. Storage gateway is used in scenarios where you have hybrid cloud. This is your on-premises. This is your cloud. On-premises. See, I'm telling you a use case. Okay, these are all real life examples. It will help you understand concepts. On-premises, you have your disk drives. It is getting full. Now you want to use AWS S3 as storage. How will you do it? Plug storage gateway here. Get the data moving from here to S3 buckets. So this is the final answer. So let us look at this question now. You want to automatically, you take the resource when you want. You want to release it when you don't want. Okay. How, how what is this called? Like in recent times in India, if you see political parties, uh, some portion of the party, uh, they have uh, a bit of less integrity. They switch parties. Okay, They do not take into account their long-term relationships with the party chief and etc. So what is that? That is elasticity. They can go anywhere they want. Availability means your Amazon.com. It is always available. So that is important. If it is not available for two hours, you, I know you will go to Flipkart.com and order stuff. By that, what do we mean? Amazon loses the business for those two hours. Not only that, some fickle minded people might think, hey, my first experience with Flipkart was awesome. 
now let me do 50 50 sometimes i will order from amazon sometimes i will order from flipkart see you have lost so much of business not only two hours of business but you have lost more than that durability if amazon tells suppose s3 you have 99.999 and whatever percent durability that means under extreme scenarios also you will not lose your data that is durability resource acquisition at runtime is not durability reliability means application will be up and running always it is a reliable application reliable technology downtime is less that is reliability not um, runtime acquisition of resources this would be our answer See this next question you want to know configuration changes so configuration conf i will close my eyes use this conf because it is related to configuration suppose sharukh khan was making some changes to ec2 instances after three months he handed over to you now you are making that change okay suddenly you say hey you know i don't know why uh you want to know why a small instance was chosen and etc go to your aws config audit it and you can know everything about it secrets manager this is managing life cycle of secret what are secrets secrets what are secrets it, it is not your black money okay don't worry uh, black money is safer than this secrets manager it is your password it is your uh, aws keys encryption keys it is a security solution not conf solution cloud trail is a monitoring solution you want to look at what are the activities done who uh, who initiated ec2 instances who terminated ec2 instances who fired what query everything is there is a monitoring solution not a configuration solution and trusted advisor is a advising solution it will tell you boss if you want to save cost then why don't you follow these two steps just like your father okay he will always tell you what is the best way of saving money what is the best way of investing money so this would be our answer So this next question, what is recommended use case for on-demand instance? On-demand means you go to a restaurant, you tell I want two plates of momos, you will get it. You go to a restaurant and say I want I want to order takeaway. How, how many momos? I want 50 plates of momos. Will they say no? No. They will say you will get it on demand okay. what is the use in the example that i told you what what is the keyword unpredictable somebody someday they will ask for one plate someday 50 plates unpredictable and they don't require long term you might say hey sir the restaurant might tell you sir you are having momos three days a week so can you do a prepaid order and can you get into a monthly plan with us so every saturday sunday and friday friday saturday sunday i will serve momos to you 20 plates but you are saying no boss i want i don't want commitment uh, since i don't want commitment i have not married in my personal life i am doing a live-in relationship why the hell i will give a commitment for momos you might say that so that means you don't require long-term commitment then you go for on demand once uh, in a long time back 25 years back i asked my friend when are you getting married and he told me nobody buys a cow for a glass of milk okay so that means if you have that mentality you go with on demand instances in the aws world option a is like you are giving commitment here you can use reserve instance with reserve instance you have to marry for three years or at least one year you have to marry man 
marry means you have to sign a contract i will use this service for 3 years option b just think about option b what type of instance will you use you will use spot instance spot instance is what boss you if you are a student students anyways don't have money unless your father is rich what will you do you have to do your final year project or if you are doing project each year then what will you do you will go to aws and say can you give me an instance in say 5 paisa uh, per minute and you bid then aws they say okay i have these instances free why don't you take for 5 paisa per minute you you take it but after you used for 2 hours somebody else told okay aws give me an instance for 20 paisa per minute so aws will tell you hey boss you are paying 5 paisa somebody else is giving 20 paisa per minute you stop your work that means you should be able to afford interruption that is spot instance d is saying a workload that is expected to run for longer than one year again here what you have to use commitment commitment you have to marry live in relationship will not work you have to marry now so you can use aws reserved instance reserved instance you will also save 72% just like marriage men now the girl and boy will stay in the same apartment they will share the food expenses they will share utility expenses so obviously uh, post marriage uh, it is cheaper okay in india it is not cheap because the girl's parents will have to spend lot of money for marriage and etc gifts and so on whatever okay now it is uh, for dowry day simply say gift, gifts uh, okay and guy also will have to make lot of changes to his house too so that the the girl can come in live comfortably he he should have all luxury items that is how you can start a good married married life and this is our answer now this next question see you have application which is there on ec2 instance and there you are saying that hey there is a sudden increase in demand and so what do you call it the sudden increase in demand the company wants to ensure application responds to the demand that means amazon.com at 1 pm there are 100 customers at 2 pm suddenly i don't know what happened 100000 customers came so ec2 instances more should be spawned what is that process called it is called aws auto scaling why we do that to optimize performance and cost optimize performance means boss i want your business i don't want to make the system slow and you are waiting for buying something i want your business so that is optimizing performance and cost because if i give you an instance immediately i can get your business i earn more revenue because if i lose that opportunity then it is expensive for me boss for me means amazon.com or any business okay this is process is called auto scaling computer optimizer how it is different from auto scaling computer optimizer will tell okay boss you have taken a big ec2 instance go for a small ec2 instance it will not tell you about number of ec2 instances if you want this use case is number of ec2 instances and that's why auto scaling will fit in computer optimizer will not aws cost explorer it will give you details about cost who is asking about cost is that the use case cost is not the use case now you might say hey it says lowest possible cost no boss at the lowest possible cost what should happen what service you should use and then we have well architected framework see everything we do it is under well architected framework only this uh, it has six pillars if you are a solution architect and you don't know well architected six pillars then you will be shot in the interview boss all your designs should make use of this framework and let us look at this next question see again reports reports security and compliance reports only one service man this is the service it talks about compliance reports simple okay this is how it works you can download the reports i'll give you a story 
I was working for a client. The client told, okay, boss, you are going on AWS. How can you assure you are SOX compliant? Then I told, okay, I'll pull this report from here and I'll show you the environment that we are creating in the AWS infrastructure. This would comply with your SOX compliance or whatever is your regulatory requirement. So this artifact will work. CloudWatch is a monitoring solution. We don't require that. AWS config is a configuration audit requirement and AWS audit manager is used for risk and compliance assessment, not the report. So this guy will not tell you the report. Don't get confused between this and the other service we spoke. Okay, this guy will not give you reports. Audit manager is just like your manager. He will give you some GAN and knowledge and get away. No concrete work, no hands-on work, nothing. He will hand you one PPT, one document. That's it, man. If you have not yet subscribed, do so. It will help you learn a lot of things, okay? You will get certified. Believe me, this playlist, if you go through it, you will definitely get certified. I have put a lot of questions. I am putting almost all the questions that have we have on AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner available on this planet, man on this planet i'm not talking about mars on this earth whatever we have i'm putting everything there so believe me trust me click the link in the description become a member gain access to the paid content there are important questions there as well okay don't try to save this small cost okay if you fail the impact the financial impact will be very high 6000 to 8000 rupees you will lose so do not do that go with full preparation this brings us to the end of part 101 we will see you in the next part